Hello everyone and thank you so much for watching. My name is Culture and in today's video I'm going to show you how I curl my hair with this twist flat iron. This is by a brand called Almost Famous. This is very similar to the Time Iron. So there's a little twist in here that makes it really easy to kind of put in waves in your hair or even really um, nice curls. I like to do sort of more like beachy waves with this and it's really easy to use, really quick. I have seen some people struggle with using this flat iron because there is a twist in it. So I'm gonna tell you some tips and tricks on how I make sure that I'm using it the right way because the first few times I did use it, I was having the same trouble where I would pass it through waiting for it to have some type of a bend in it and nothing happened. So I'm going to show you my tips and tricks and how I curl my hair with this twist flat iron. So right now my hair is basically just washed the night before and nothing else in it. This is what it looks like, kind of frizzy and everything. So I like to separate my hair. If I'm in a hurry, I only separate it into two sections. Today I'm going to show you how I separate it into three sections so you can see more of what this tool can do. So I take the majority of my hair on top, leave the bottom part, and then twist it up away from my face. There we go. And then I like to work from the back to the front, so whatever is easiest for you. And then I take one inch sections, just like this, not too much, because then it won't curl very easily. And then if your hair needs to be brushed, I do that beforehand, just a little bit. So how I've learned to use this tool is, there's a little digital reader right here, you can either increase or decrease the temperature. Right now I have it at 374. It goes all the way down to 248 and it goes all the way up to 450. So I like to kind of be in the middle at 374, sometimes at 356. If I am working towards the front of my face, like right through here, I bring it down to 356, but I'm going to put it up to 374 right now. So that digital reader, I like to use it as a guide. I put my thumb there and that's how I know I'm holding it correctly. <laughs> I know that sounds strange, but that's how I've managed to figure out how to use this tool. So when I'm working on the left side, I bring the tool over my head, just like I would with any type of curling wand or anything. And then I curl all the pieces away from my face. I only twist it one time. Sometimes I like to hold my hair in place so it doesn't fall through and then pass it through all the way to the end and then help it curl and there it is. Super <laughs> curly. The faster you pull it through your hair, the less curly it will be and the longer it you take to pull it through, the curlier it will be. I like to just curl it all the way through the end on the bottom of my hair and then once I get to the top, I like to leave about one or two inches out so it's a little straighter at the bottom. All right, next piece. I'll show you what it looks like if you go really quickly through your hair. So this time I'm just gonna twist it one time and go pretty quickly through my hair. Help it twist. And so here are the two different curls you're gonna see. This one is a lot more loose and this one is much more curly. Okay, so brush it through. Thumb right here on the digital reader from the top and away from my face, just twist it once and then pull it through. Just like that, it's so pretty. And here's another tip. If you felt like you spent too much time curling it on the bottom, so the pop, top part right here is too straight for you, you can easily go back, take a little bit longer to go on the top, let it go, and then you'll see that the curl is there now. Okay, moving on to the right side. I'm just gonna brush it through first and then section it. So again, one inch section. And now since I'm on the right side, what I do is again, thumb on the digital reader. I go from underneath now. And the, this time the thumb is going to be facing the back and then I twist it once, and now the digital reader is at the front, and then I push it through this way. So it's going the same direction as if I was going above my head on this side. 
there's that curl. So again, thumb here facing the back so that I curl it away from my face, twist it, and now the digital reader is in the front, and then pass it through. If you happen to have a section that is a little bit thicker, like this one is obviously a lot thicker than the other ones, I take a little bit more time to pass it through to make sure that it curls, just like that. Okay, next section of hair. And there goes my clip. And so I don't have a ton of hair around my face. I like to just take a little bit of one side and then work on that. So here, brush it through. Okay, again, I have the thumb on the digital reader. I'm gonna take it over my head. It is facing the back. And then I bring it to the front. So now the digital reader is in the front. And then I push it through. Just the perfect beachy wave. So now since I'm sort of in the front, I'm gonna leave a couple inches out and then let it go. So it's a little bit more straight on the ends. Since this is towards my face, I'm going to leave a couple of inches out at the bottom. Like that. Now taking that top section of that half, here we go. Okay, so that one is a little sad. I'm gonna have to redo that one. Much better. So the reason why I'm holding my hair at the bottom is sometimes it can spread out inside the tool and it helps keep it together when I do that. Okay, this session, section is pretty thick as well. So I'm going to split that in half and do this section. Again, if you grab a little bit larger section than normal, go a little bit slower. And I'm gonna leave a couple inches out at the bottom. And then sometimes if you feel like the bottom is too curly for you, um, I just take a little bit of heat at the last bend and straighten it out a little bit. I'll fix that um, towards the end. We are almost done. Okay, so once we get to the top, you can see I spent a little bit too much time right here on the end, so I'm gonna go through that part again. Go a little slower from the top, and then pass through, and then when I get to the bottom, I like to pull really hard straight down. See how I turned it from upside down to here? And then it's gonna help keep it straight on the bottom. So let me show you that again. Hold it from the top, once you get to the bottom, bring it around and then pull it straight down. So it's not super curly at the bottom. 
So you got a little bit of a bend at the top and then it's straighter at the bottom. And then if you want to add a little bit more bend, just hold it and curl that one part. Just like that. Okay. I'll try to show you that again. It's the same thing when somebody just uses a regular flat iron. They'll curl it and then pull it straight at the bottom so the bottom part becomes a little bit more straight, but it keeps the curl on the top. Turn it around and straighten down. So that's the kind of curl you will get. So this one, I think I'm gonna have a little bit more curl at the top, so I'm gonna add that just to the top section. And then stop. That way you can see, now I've added a curl at the top. There we go. Okay, last long piece, and then I'm gonna work on two my bangs. push it through and then leave out the last part. And this is again where I'm going to pull it straight down so it's not gonna be super curly. Like that. Okay, so now I have these last two sections where my bangs have grown out. So it tells me I actually need to get a trim. <laughs> so here, on my bangs, I just like to add a little bit of a bend. Again, same thing, thumb here, and then facing away from my face, and then pulling it down. You can see what I did. I did a little bit of a bend, and then pulled it straight down. Because I don't like my bangs to be super curly, but I like to have it be just a little bit of a bend. Now the right side, same thing. Thumb here, away from my face, and I go straight down. I do that instead of going all the way back, I like to kind of form it to frame my face. Maybe too much curl right there. So I'm just gonna take the ends and straighten them out a little bit. There we go. Okay, run my fingers through my hair. You can also just brush your hair. I like to use my fingers. And then this time I like to correct anything that I've done. So here in these sections, I feel like it's a little too straight. So I'm just gonna take this hop sections here in one inch sections and then start curling it a little bit more. So I'll spend more time passing it through my hair, making sure there's curl, and then pulling it straight down at the bottom. So there's a little bit more curl, a little bit more body. I'm gonna take another section here that seems to be flat. <laughs> Peekaboo! <laughs> Filming? Yeah. Do you have any fabric glue? Yes. Where is it? I'll tell you in a second. Okay. <laughs> See how it adds just a nice bend at the top? Right there. So it looks a little bit more full and less flat. I'm going to do the same over here in the back so it looks all the same. Spend more time on the top and then leave it out. There we go. Okay, so as so you can see, there's a little bit more curl than I'd like. I'm just gonna pull that straight down so it's less curly. 
All right, so this front piece right here is a little straight. I'm going to just curl that part and then let it go. Okay, so I like the left side. The right side here needs a little bit more help. It's a little flat on the top. So I'm gonna brush this part out and then do the same thing I did by adding some more body to the top. Just like that. Now there's a lot more going on. I'll do about three or four pieces until I feel like the top part has more body instead of being flat. And then that's it. Can't forget about the back. I feel like my bangs are off a little bit. What's going on? There we go. Okay, so now I'm gonna do this part again. Okay, so that is it. A little funky with the bangs, but all good. If you wanna brush the ends so they look a little bit more polished, you can. You can go in with your favorite texturizing spray, dry shampoo, flexible hairspray, whatever it is that you use. Also, if you wanna add some oil to the bottom of your hair, it's, if it looks a little bit dry, you can do that. I love this tool, it's so easy to use. It already gives you that laid back look. Sometimes when I use a curling wand, my hair looks better the second day because I've slept on it. And this wand with the twist in the flat iron helps to give you that look the first time you use it. So that's why I love it. So again, this company is called Almost Famous. If you were reluctant to buy it before, now you know how I use it and hopefully I helped you if you wanted to purchase it for yourself, gave you some tips and tricks. Let me know if you guys have any questions at all and I will see you guys all on my next one. Bye.